Hello everyone, how are you today? Dave here, Creative Wandering Duo. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, it's been a hot one, hasn't it? And smoky the last few days too. <clears throat> and dry, of course. Not a whole lot of rain all summer. Whoops, sorry. Uh, I don't profess to be a professional camera person anyhow. Hope this is working. I don't know. Anyhow, oh, my lovely bride has just showed up with some sweet tea. Thank See, you, darling. If you have the, uh, on this side of the red dot flashing, then it's on. Oh, it is. Okay. There you go. There you go. Just figure something else out again, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. This is very sweet of you. Years. Anyhow, we're here at my shop, the fabled shop that uh, I've been trying to get into, and this week I've been doing some work in that direction. The workbench has progressed. Oh, too close? Oh, okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Just trying to get close to you. Anyhow, the workbench has progressed to the point where it's mostly all together uh, and I have a spot cleared out and I can actually get through to it. These are the pieces he's making that out of. He's going to glue them all together. Like I said, I think it would make a pretty good countertop for my kitchen too. But he says no, it's for his workbench. And that's the wall he made.
for his tent shed. And there's more boards. This workbench is all made out of pellet material. <coughs> Oh, use dad's saw horses too. Oh, underneath. Those are saw horses my dad built. And they've just got, I think they're held together by nails. There's a lot of nails in there. When dad built the deep bridge, the nails would be built up like camper. These were under our. See all the nails? <laughs> This was under the truck camper that we bought from my parents. Boy, we thought we were in luxury when we had that truck camper because we'd moved from tenting to a truck camper. And now we're glamping. There's a few in there that are crooked. Each strip has to be the same thickness, otherwise there's too big a void. That's why I'm doing this. I understand that. I was just for all of those in the video land wondering what the heck is that fool doing? They're not all plain to the same thickness, so. Oh, they're pellet boards. Yeah. It's all, <clears throat> all reclaimed wood.
What you doing? Oh, I'm trying to set these plants up for you. And why are you doing that? Because I'm making a bench top for a workbench. Uh-huh. Must be flat. Okay. Two inches in here? Oh, it's rough cut to approximately an inch and three quarters. Okay. It's going to be an inch and a half when it's done. Okay. What if you left those laying flat? Would that work better? Not really. Okay. Because they they don't bow or cup. They're straight this oh, way. Okay. The other way they are not so much. Okay. In other words, I should leave and, and, and let you uh, progress so that you're not showing me stuff. When what? Mess up? No, well, I was asking questions. And... Looks like we're to the sticky part. Just about.
and there it is the workbench uh, it's there's no metal holding it together no nails no screws it's all joinery um, mortise and tenon with uh, pins uh, the whole business it is sturdy like very sturdy no movement and the movement that way is basically the because of the floor it's sitting on 3 8 ply uh, OSB over top some uh, screw down to some pallets and it's not very sturdy but it will suffice for now and I'm in the process of leveling it I started out yesterday I was going to level it with my hand plane because well it didn't look like that much to do I haven't used a hand plane in a while so I worked at it all day yesterday and I did get some some leveled and stuff like that but it was sorry about that air compressor of course it has to turn on right when we're doing this there that sold that so I sat down last night at dinner and was telling Sandy all about what my issues was and said but I could make a, a jig with my router or for my router to level it and I came out here after dinner last night and that's precisely what I did I made a jig to flatten my table not very difficult it's pretty simple the only thing a person has to be aware of is these two sides have to be parallel to make your top flat and of course you're going to take off as minimal amount of material as possible so that's what I did I have uh, uh, plexiglass or uh, plastic uh, here so as I can see through it and slot in it and just back and forth and this here slides side to side and yeah so far it's working pretty good that's done I'm, I'm pleased with it so far and there's, there's my uh, tool chest, it has all my hand tools in it, or not all of them, most of my hand tools in it. <clears throat> and yeah, all the tools you see in here are actually old, very old. They were old when I got them, and pretty much the last time I used any of them was someplace in the neighborhood of about 25 years ago. Uh, that was in Saskatoon and it's pretty hard to do anything when you're trucking. Uh, you get home, you're tired and beat. For those of you that have trucked, you know what I'm talking about. It's time for some home time with your loved ones. Uh, spend some time uh, catching up and getting to know each other again and uh, just when that's done you got to get back to work again so any help enough of that jabber uninteresting stuff so now we're uh, working on getting this flattened out and yeah not a whole bunch to talk about uh, it's just pretty boring and pretty noisy every now and again you gotta stop and do some cleanup with a vacuum cleaner and, because it is messy but yeah it'll it'll get done and yeah as you've seen there's still a lot of cleanup to do in here organization but this is this is uh, steps in the direction of getting that happening 
my plans are there's going to be a lake vice here <clears throat> and along here there's going to be a tool tray <clears throat> about uh, six inches deep and I'm going to have uh, dog holes along here <clears throat> and there's my end vise set up. I, I actually found two end vices in, in my stump once I got cleaning things up and looking through things. See, I have two wood shops in here. My wood shop and my grandfather's wood shop. My wood shop I had in Saskatoon. I had it in, uh, what was it, a 10 by 10 metal garden shed. It worked for what I was doing. And then my grandfather passed away and I got his woodworking shop. Minus a couple of things that my mother needed or wanted, so it's all good. So I had a record woodworking vise, but it didn't have any uh, fancy stuff on it like uh, end dog or uh, uh, quick release. My grandfather's did. His is a Chinese model. I'm told they're not very good, but we'll see. I haven't tossed away the old record. And his, well, there's a, as you can see, there's a dog and quick release. Actually pretty nice. That should work and get my uh, leg vise on it, which I have Here's the screw for it right here. And out here on that trailer, that uh, four by six, that is going to be the uh, leg vise. It's pressure treated. It's, Lord only knows how long it's been sitting out curing and getting wet right now because we have to water some lawn which by the way looks pretty good down there right oh and that uh, smoker is going to be my heater it needs a little bit of rework but uh, when it's done uh, it should work fairly good I think I'm hoping anyhow we'll see and you see along there a whole bunch of work for me to do. That all has to get taken apart so that it can be used. But onto this. Yeah, I I built this uh, crosscut table uh, last weekend, I believe it was, so as I could uh, make up some of these things here, legs and other parts. So yeah. Let's see what we can do about getting this level, okay? I'll just uh, see what I can do about setting you all up. There, can you see? I hope so. Don't need this in the way like that. This here. Here we go. Now for the noise and safety glasses. Chips will be flying.
Time for a little bit of cleanup here, I'm thinking. And I may have done something wrong. But that'll be the first time. That's right. It's getting a bit warm. <clears throat> but that is the process that I'll be doing the whole thing. Mistake I made, I didn't find the lowest point 
on this table. And, oh, pardon me. For some reason, it was, I, it, it was uh, tilted corner to corner. Much as I tried, I, for some reason, it, well, I do know a couple reasons why it went that way. One was the blades had originally, that I was originally using in the thickness planer to level my <coughs> three uh, glue ups up. Uh, they were not in the planer straight. Yeah, that created quite a bit of problem. And now I am finally getting to the point of fixing it. So, we'll leave you all there. Uh, you know what I'm doing here for a little while. That is uh, above 16 inches worth of flattening. And I guess I got the rest of the table to do because I hadn't been taken off enough there to get this level. We got that one solved though, don't we? We'll talk to y'all later. Here's that shit off thing. There it is.